the one and only Fritz Coleman this afternoon. Every day something reminds you you're getting old just so you don't forget. You get up in the morning and you go to put your socks on and you realize you still have dents in your ankles from wearing socks the day before. <laughs> your skin is so old, it would like to return to its original shape, but can't remember what it is. Your old skin has acquired short-term memory loss. You go to the grocery store, you start picking out your breakfast cereal from the far end of the cereal aisle, down there near the Kellogg's, blueberries, and gravel. <laughs> because you get to a certain age when you need your breakfast food to be a little more interactive. <laughs> if it's not crunchy enough to chip a tooth, probably not doing its job. So you better get three or four boxes of the Kashi Goline whole grain gastrointestinal depth charge with honey oat clusters. <laughs> it's like putting 2% milk on cat litter. <laughs> You're getting older when you have to visit doctors you've never had to visit before. Men have to visit the urologist. <laughs> Now, women have been violated by their doctors from a very young age. It doesn't happen to men until we're older and we're less malleable. But it's a rite of passage of men of a certain age to go to the urologist, our butt mitzvah. And it's scary the first time you go. You're looking around the waiting room and all these 95-year-old men going, my God, this is a reunion of Civil War veterans. What the hell am I doing here? I was so scared the first time I went, and nobody takes you to the urologist office. It's hard to find a ride to the urologist office. Thank God for Lyft and Uber, because it's difficult. You're on your own. You're sitting in the urologist office, and I'm nervously leafing through the December issue of American Prostate Magazine, <laughs> saying to myself, I sure hope Dr. Weinstein is gentle. I've never met the man, yet in just a few short minutes, he's going to be spelunking in the Fritz cave. <laughs> and all I really know about him is he got a four rubber glove rating on Yelp. <laughs> Coincidentally, Yelp is the sound I'll be making during the examination. <laughs> it's so sad what happens to a man when you get old. When you are a young man, your entire life is controlled from this area. <laughs> All of your major decisions are made <laughs> from this general area. Then you become an old man. And your entire life is controlled from this area. <laughs> All of your major decisions are made from this area, but for a completely different reason. When you're a young man, it's the bedroom. When you're an old man, it's the bathroom. <laughs> but the symptoms are identical. You have strong urges. You have thoughts about doing it on the average once every three and a half minutes. <laughs> and when you're finished, if it's a really good one, you shiver. He's clean, he's funny. He's on the button, and I was here with my whole family. Nobody gets as many laughs. I actually had the nerve to uh, bring a lot of my professional friends here. Oh my gosh, when he went to the urologist. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Fritz. <laughs>